Hi, my name is Josh Zander. I'm the host teaching professional for MySmart Golf and teaching professional here at Stanford University Golf Course. Today I want to talk to you about how to get the ball up and down out of heavy greenside rough. I've got two situations here. I've got a situation where I've short-sided myself. In other words, I don't have a lot of green to work with. I'm actually not that far from the hole, but I have to hit a high soft one. And I've got another situation where I've got 60 or 70 feet of green to work with, and I'd like to get this ball low and running out of this lie. Let's talk about the high soft one first. Oftentimes you'll hear tour players say, you know, the, gr the grass around the greens is so high, the rough is so high that I'd rather be in the bunker than hit this shot. Well, actually, you can use your bunker, bunker type swing to get this shot up and out of the grass. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play the ball forward in my stance just like a bunker shot. I'm going to open my club face just like a bunker shot. And what that does is it exposes the bounce of the club. Now, the bounce of the club is going to allow the club to slide through the grass so I don't have to hit the golf ball first. I'm actually trying to hit a couple inches behind the golf ball again just like a bunker shot. So ball forward in my stance club face slightly open, weight a little forward, and when I make the swing, I want to make sure that I thump the ground with the bounce of the club, and if you can see my finish here, my club face has stayed open. That's also going to help me keep the loft on the face and maintain the bounce, which is going to slide through the grass. The last thing I'll mention here is you have to have enough courage to make a long, big swing with quite a bit of speed to get the ball out. Remember, the ball's got, or the club face has so much loft, the ball's gonna go really high and land very softly. So again, ball slightly forward in the stance, face open, we'll use the bounce and we'll give it a big enough swing. Beautiful high soft landing shot right next to the pin. Let's talk about the one where you have more green to work with. So the challenge when you're in a situation like this, when the ball's down in the rough, is that there's going to be a lot of grass caught between the club face and the ball. Now we overcame that by using the bounce on the prior shot where we were trying to hit a high soft one, but in this case I want to hit a low running one. So I want to take some loft off the club face and I want to minimize the amount of grass that gets caught between the club face and the ball. So what I'm going to do now is put the ball well back in my stance, even behind my right foot. You can see the shaft is leaning forward and put enough weight on my left foot where I can chop down on that ball with a very steep angle. You may have found yourself in the past up against a tree where you've had to go like this to avoid hitting the tree trunk. Well, it's kind of the same thing. We're going to play the ball back enough in the stance where we can get a steep enough angle where we can make clean contact with this golf ball. A lot of weight's going to be on your front foot. So, ball behind my right foot, weight 60-70% here, hands well forward, and I'm going to use a chopping style motion to get this ball out of the grass. Notice when I finish my swing, I still have this angle in the back of my right hand. I've kept the loft off the club face, and my ball just ran all the way, the 60, 70 feet, to the hole. So, first thing you want to do is assess your lie. If you're down in the rough, you have these two options. If the pin's short, go with the bunker style shot. If the pin is far away and you have the green to work with, go ahead and use a chipping style, but make sure you move the ball well back in your stance, weight forward, and keep the angle in your right hand. That'll send the ball nice and low. Both ways you can get it up and down. 